Ta-da! Hello Fantasy Gamers, Matthew here from Grey Army Gaming in lovely Sweden. For this episode of A Few Simple Steps, we will show you how to make mason stone walls. To start us out now, here is an example of something we will be making. Um, not necessarily a 90 degree corner, um, but a mason stone wall like this. Uh, we'll have some grey stones um, on all the sides. Uh, nothing on the bottom, of course, um, with some white in between the stones to make it look like a really professionally made wall. And here are the supplies we're going to need when we make our walls. We'll start out here with these simple wood blocks. Uh, they are two centimeters high, so these will be uh, the same size as the other wall that we have previously made, so they will all match together. So two centimeters high, you can have them at any length if you want. You can uh, make them, uh, glue them together like I did on the previous piece. Uh, we're just going to make two straight walls like this. For the blocks now, we're going to need some simple cardstock cardboard. This is just from a cereal box. Some thin cardboard that we will glue onto the wooden part. Uh, then once we are done with that, we'll throw some spackling on it to give it some rough texture. We'll go over that with a layer of gray paint. Um, and we'll do a couple different layers of gray, um, uh, maybe a little bit of lighter gray to kind of accentuate it, or maybe darker gray, depending on what kind of look we want. Uh, and last, then we will go ahead and run some white paint through the, the cracks around the stones to give it that masoned look. To get us started now, what we'll do is we'll just trace around our stone uh, and all the sides that we can get that ready and draw our stones that we will cut out. Um, remember now, we don't have to do the bottom. So we have one side, we need the other side, the top, and both of the corners. So let's go ahead and just trace those out to give us a basic pattern where we can start to draw our stones. Here now is the rough traces. We've got one side, the other side, top, and the two edges. Um, what we want to do now is go ahead and just start to draw some stones in here that we're going to be cutting out. Um, just try to make them as random as possible. Um, you don't have to worry about being too exact. Um, we will come back then and cut these out later. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and show you a couple how that will look. Um, and there we go. So let's go ahead and fill all these out with different stone designs that we'll be using for our stone blocks. So some nice designs, some rather random patterns here. Uh, or that's an oxymoron, there is no, no such thing as random patterns. Uh, randomness with the stones. What we're going to do now is go ahead and cut these out around uh, their edges. Um, and these will be the templates now from which we remove the stones and glue them onto our wall. Alright, we now have our templates ready to go so we can compare our templates to our block of wood here. And as you see, it will fit there very nicely. Remember, we only have two sides, a top and two edges. Now what we're going to do now may seem like a lot of work in a painstaking process, but actually it doesn't take that long and the effect that you get from it is really nice, so it's worth the effort. What we're going to do is go ahead and use our template now um, and we're going to in cut out each of these individual blocks and just lay them onto the, uh, the wood block as they are here in our template. So first we'll cut this one out, put it here in the corner, put that one there, put that one there and work your way down um, basically gluing each block on as you go until you get to the edge here. Um, by the time you get to the edge, this will probably be dry. You can flip it over and start doing it on the other side, the top and the edges. So now you can see we've started off. Uh, here is our uh, template. Um, we started off to put our blocks in. This only took um, about a minute. So go ahead and just keep on going until you cover this block and you cover the other side, uh, the top and the two edges. And you'll have your uh, stone pieces that stick out from the wall ready to go. We now have a wall with uh, completely covered with our stone cutouts now um, on all of these five sides. So what we can do now is go ahead and grab our spackle. And what we're going to do is just take a little bit of spackle and kind of rub it over each one of these sides and try to cover uh, each one of the stones in order to give it some texture so that when we go ahead and put the paint on and do some uh, dry brushing, it will really stick out and look pretty good. So take a little spackle on your finger and just simply rub it on the stones. And don't worry if it gets in between the stones. What we'll do uh, when we're done here is just grab a toothpick and kind of pick it out. We just want to just rub it across uh, the entire side and then when you're done with that, move on to the next side. So let's go ahead and just show you one side and then we'll go do the rest. So there we go. 
Like I said, uh, feel free to apply it pretty liberally and go ahead later with a toothpick or something else. We'll pick it out of the center between each of those individual stones. So, there you go. Let's go ahead and just do the rest of it now. I can show you just really quickly how this works. We're just gonna take our toothpick here and just simply go around here and kind of scratch out from the insides uh, the uh, extra spackle that got in between the stones. We'll just try to clear it out a little bit so we have a little more definition when we go ahead and add our paint to our piece. So there you go, just use your toothpick, clean it out a little bit, kind of like you're flossing your teeth. And uh, once you get the whole thing cleaned out, we can go ahead uh, and let this dry before we add our gray paint to it. Once we picked all the excess spackle out of our rocks in the little crevices, now we can go ahead and add our gray paint. So let's just take a, a big brush and we can really just uh, slop it on pretty well. We're gonna cover the entire piece first and then go back and do some dry brushing later. And remember the last step we'll do is that we will actually go in with our uh, with our small brush and add some white between the stones. Uh, so let's just go ahead and cover the whole thing now with a nice layer of gray. Once all of our gray paint is now dry, we can go ahead and do a little bit of dry brushing. What we're gonna do here is take uh, some more of the gray that we've just been using, just a couple little uh, drops of that, and we're going to make it a little bit darker by adding just a drop of black paint. So let's just add a little bit of black paint to it to darken up that gray. Uh, and we'll go ahead and mix it in just to give us a little color variation now when we go ahead and do our dry brushing. So let's mix that up. And you see it's a pretty nice dark gray. Mixed in well, let's take our large dry brushing brush that we've been using. This one works pretty well for covering large areas. And we'll just go ahead and dry brush this off here. Here we go, I think that is good enough. And then we can go ahead and start to just really lightly go over the tops of our stones. And what this is gonna do now is give it a little bit of a dirtier look. Uh, it will give it a little more color variation and um, which will really help it pop when we add the white. So we'll go ahead and just finish up with the dry brushing, cover this entire thing with a little darker gray, uh, and I'll check in with you when we finish that. Here now is a close-up shot of the stones. You can see how they have been uh, very nicely dry brushed and made to look quite dirty. So that is basically um, the next to last step. What we're gonna do now is just go ahead and take a small brush and go in between the stones and add our white paint, uh, like our, uh, that would be our filler, and um, that will be it for this wall and we'll be finished. And now for our last step. I really like this step because it is at this point that our piece really does begin to look like a very nice mason wall. So all we're gonna do now is take a little bit of our white paint um, and take a fairly uh, fine tipped brush because we need to get in between all those uh, stones in those little nooks and uh, crevices and take a fine uh, fine brush and go ahead now and just begin to uh, paint in between the stones so run your brush right in there between there and um, go ahead and just fill it in with white what we're gonna do now is just keep going until we have covered the entire piece with white paint in between the stones 
And as you can see, um, it already starts to look like a very nice masoned rock wall. So I'll continue with this and show you how it looks when I finish up. So here's the piece now with our final touches on it with the white masonry that really makes those dark stones pop really well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this actually uh, looks when it's on play in the battlefield. Well, there you have it folks, a few simple steps for making good looking mason stone walls. Thank you for joining us here today at Grey Army Gaming, where Grey can always play.